Hello and welcome to the video Spring Security the Direct User based on raw example. I am Nam Ming from CodeJava.net. In this video, you will learn how to write code in a Spring Boot web application for rejecting users based on their roles after successful authentication. In other words, different users with different roles will see different pages after logging successfully to the application. For example, if a user has a role admin, he will see the admin dashboard after successful login. If the user has a role salesperson, he will see the sales dashboard after successful login. Or if the user has a role editor, he will be redirected to the editor dashboard after successful authentication. I will show you a Java project that uses the following technologies Spring Boot Web, Spring Data API and Hybrid Framework, Spring Security and MySQL database. Alright, this is my Spring Boot project in which I use uh, Spring Security for authentication for the users of the application. This is the Spring Security Configuration class. You see, in this uh, configuration class, I use uh, a custom user detail service uh, for authenticating the users by uh, looking for username and password in the database here using a user repository here. Get a user by email here. And this is a code of the user entity class that represents a user here. You see, and we have a set collection of role objects here. And this is a role entity class here. Okay, let me start this uh, Spring Boot application. And this is a database. Here you see the user's table and the roles table. We have some fixed roles here admin, salesperson, editor, shipper, and assistant. And this is the intermediate table that uh, implements the many-to-many -many entity relationship between users and roles. Okay, uh, the application has started successfully uh, without any issues. You see here. Now let me access uh, this uh, Spring Boot application in the browser here. Show me admin. Okay, by default, uh, I log in as an admin user here. Uh, let me log out and log in as another user. Uh, this one. Okay, I have logged in successfully as the user Dev Kumar Singh with the role editor and assistant here. And let me log out and log in as another user. Uh, this one. Okay, I'm in and this user has the role salesperson here. So different users with different roles uh, will be seeing different uh, pages after successful authentication. And in order to implement the code for rejecting users based on their roles, we need to update the user entity class element that has role method that we return to if the user has a given role name and also update the custom user details class that wraps an instance of user class here the has row method here similarly delegates the code to the has row method in the user entity class then we need to code an authentication success handler class and override the on authentication success handler method which will be invoked uh, upon successful authentication of the user and we write the code for Redirecting the users based on their roles in this uh, method, and we configure the success handler in the Spring uh, Security Configuration class like this. Okay, implement the has role method in the user entity class like this with a parameter role name here, and we iterate to each role object in the set of roles here. If the role has the name that equals to the given role name, then we return true. If there are no matching roles, we return false from the method. And this is a custom user detail service class. On successful authentication, it returns a new submit user details object here. And in this uh, custom user details class, uh, we also implement the has role method here. And you see it uh, simply uh, delegates the code to the has role method of the user entity class. Then we need to create a new class uh, for authentication success handler. Here, create a new class. 
the login success handler and the super class uh, should be uh, save uh, request aware authentication success handler here yeah. finished and we need to use the uh, component annotation for this class so spring framework will be able to inject an instance of this class into the uh, spring uh, security configuration file okay and here we override the method uh, on authentication success here this method will be invoked by spring security upon user successful authentication and we write the code for redirecting the user based on their role here for now we just uh, uh, print something here and you see in this on authentication success uh, method we can access the http service request object http service response object and an authentication object that represents the country login user as you can see in the user detail service class in the load user by username method here uh, we return the new uh, custom user details object upon successful authentication here you see so in this code we can uh, get the uh, custom uh, user details uh, object like this authentication get a principle here and we uh, assign the return value to uh, custom user details object Show me user details here user details and we cast the return object to the type uh, show me user details object and then we can print out the username user details get username which is email in this application username and we can also get the authorities or the roles of the current login user uh, like this user details get authorities and we assign the return value to a collection of granted authorities and we can uh, print the role name or authority name like this authorities for each uh, for each authority object here we uh, print out the value uh, out system dot out dot print line out here get authority okay and then in the spring uh, security configuration class here we need to configure the success handler like this auto wire and private uh, login success handler success handler and in the configure HTTP security method here in the code section that configures the form login here we call success uh, handler here and pass the reference of the success handler here uh, spring framework we inject an instance of the login success handler class here into this uh, configuration class okay save all the changes and now we can do some tests and refresh the home page of the application and i will log in as an admin user okay i am in and let's see what printed in the console view you see it uh, prints uh, username is the email of the current login user and the role name is admin here yeah, you see uh, let me update the code uh, that means the authen on authentication success method is invoked upon successful login of the user username here okay save the change and let me log in as another user who has a different role so refresh and this time i will log out as the user Deb kuma okay successful and in the console you see it uh, prints username and the role names uh, editor and assistant exactly the assigned roles of this user here you see and let me log out and log in as another user who has a salesperson role here 
Okay, so cell phone. Okay, and you can see it prints username and the row of the user is sales person here. And now we can write the code for directing the user based on the rows. So we can delete this testing code and here string uh, redirect URL equal to the context part of the application. Request get context part, which is the home page of the application. And here we check uh, if user details has row, and we check if the uh, user has row uh, salesperson. Then we uh, uh, construct the uh, direct URL pointing to the a home page for salesperson like this sales underscore home and for the sake of simplicity I configure every C uh, spring every C configuration here to map the URL with the view name so override the method um, add view controllers here this class implements the web MVC configurer class and here we call uh, registry uh, add uh, view controller with the URL is slash sales underscore home and map to the view name set view name um, sales home and then in the template directory we create the corresponding HTML file here I copy from the home page index here copy paste here and change the file name to uh, sales underscore home which is the home page uh, for the users who have the role sales person and here we just change the heading of the page to um, sales dashboard here okay now we can test the first case that the current login user has a role salesperson no, sorry um, for redirecting the user we don't call the super method on authentication success instead we should send direct using the response object here send redirect to the react url here okay save the change And now we can test uh, go to the home page and let me log in as a salesperson user here. Yeah, sorry. Okay, I have logged in successfully as a salesperson user, and you can see the heading of the page is sales last bar here, and you can see the URL change to sales underscore home here so that means the code uh, actually uh, working it uh, redirects the user based on their role to the sales home page if the user has a role sales person here and similarly we write code for directing the users uh, who have the role editor like this uh, relating to the editor home page and uh, configure the URL with the view name here and this is a view paste editor dashboard here and let me test again login as an editor user Deb Kuma here okay now I have login successfully as an editor user and I can see the editor dashboard here you can see the URL here or log out and login again as a salesperson user okay you see sales dashboard here and that's how to redirect user based on role with a spring security i hope you will found this video helpful please subscribe to my channel like comment and share this video thanks for watching